Der FC Bayern ist für mich ein ganzes sportliches Leben. Das ist eigentlich ein, ein Familienbetrieb mit einem großen Haus und vielen Anhängern. You know FC Bayern for the success, the trophies, the celebrations. But what is FC Bayern? Where do we come from? What do we stand for? Who are we? We travel around the city and take you back to our roots to answer these questions and more. FC Bayern is the heartbeat of the city, a driver of culture, a way of life. This is FC Bayern. To truly understand what FC Bayern is today, we need to take you all the way back to the beginning. And there's no better place to start than at the FC Bayern Museum. So we're here with Fabian, the curator of the FC Bayern Museum, in which we now stand. And this is what we want to talk to you about today, the history of the club, the background. Sure. And that's actually a great starting point. Why in the year 1900 did a group of men get together and decide to start? Our founding father, Franz Jon, he had the idea to bring a group of people together to found a totally different club, which inspires people yeah. to this new sport. Yeah. And how do you inspire new people? With successful games, yes. competition, and that's why they came together. And that's what we now know FC Bayern to be, but where did this happen? Yeah. In Munich, in the city center, there's the district of Schwabing. Okay. A lot of artists from Europe and all over Germany came together because Munich was a melting pot of creative, intellectual people. And for those guys, football or soccer, as you call it, yeah. was the game to go. And that's where they came together, and that's where why Bayern Munich and Bayern was located and founded in the city center in the district of Schwabing. So I'm standing outside of what now appears to be a regular office building, but on February 27th, 1900, this was the site where 11 men gathered to form what is now FC Bayern Munich. And you can see here, there's a memorial dedicated to that. This used to be Cafe Gisela. and it stood for what FC Bayern stands for now. FC Bayern must be a club that assumes sporting leadership and enthuses people for football. And that mission is the same as it was when this club was founded on that day in February. So everybody knows Bayern Munich is red and white. Yeah. Rot und weiss. Yeah. But that's not always how it was? No, no, right. because The name of our club is Bayern, Bavaria, right. yeah. and the official state colors of Bavaria are white and blue. Okay. So, and our founding colors have been white and blue as well. You yeah. see this player over here, there. Yeah. And we changed our club colors for, you can say today, economical reasons. Sure. And the reason is the stadium. One goal of our founding members was always to stay independent from others. Mm. No loans, no credits, like right. today. Like today, Yeah. nothing's changed there. And that's why we are looking for a partner to build right. our stadium. Yeah. And together with the Munich Sports Club, the MSC, we were building the first football stadium here in Munich. The only condition the MSC had was, please change your colors. And that's why our officials decided, okay, then let's change the colors from white and blue to red and white. Schwabing is a district in the north of Munich. Today, many people spend their time in the English Garden or watch The Walking Man on Leopoldstrasse. We're here on Leopoldstrasse, the most well-known street in the city of Munich. It's a location where fans come out and celebrate after major title victories so they can be together in the street. <laughs> on one end is FC Bayern World and Marian Platz. On the other is the FC Bayern campus. In between, you'll find one of the most historic sites of FC Bayern Munich. We're here in Schwabing at the site of FC Bayern's first stadium, which was built in 1907 and played in until 1924. Schwabing was an important place for this to take place because while it's more residential now, Back in the day, it was the center for arts and culture and where all of the FC Bayern players lived and grew up. Yeah. 
So you mentioned Kurt Landauer. Talk yeah. to me about why he was so important, so foundational for this club. Kurt Landauer is the father of the successes of the first years here. Right. I would say he's the most important person in the first 50 years of our club. Born on July 28, 1884, as the son of a Jewish merchant, Landauer originally joined FC Bayern as a player in 1901. He then went on to occupy various roles at the very top of the club. Between 1913 and 1951, he was club president four times for a total of 19 years, during which time he presided over FC Bayern's first German league title in June 1932. One year after the National Socialists claimed the power here in Germany, Bayern Munich became some problems because Kurt Landauer was Jewish, our manager, our coach was Jewish, a lot of other members were Jewish and we became problems. So Kurt Landauer had to leave the club, but he came back after World War II to Germany in the country where four of his siblings have been killed by the National Socialist. Yeah. He became, came back and became elected president of FC Bayern again. The club is also very known for its success, its <laughs> trophies, its winning, but yeah. it wasn't always that way? It wasn't always that way. We had big competitors in the yeah. first years. We have been successful, Bavarian champion very soon. Sure. And they have been always very, very ambitious right. in the first year. So the success was always the big goal. Then in 1932, we won our first big title, the German Championship. And it's then in the final game. a beautiful one at that. Football became bigger and even more popular, so we needed bigger places. Right. In 1860 Munich, we're building a new home ground at Grünwalder Straße in the southern yeah. part of Munich. Yeah. And we were renting this stadium then afterwards from 1860 Munich, the first years. So we were renting from our biggest rivals. Like any great rivalry, the Munich Derby has had its fair share of history. Dating back to the first matchup in 1902, FC Bayern and 1860 have always had a special tension that only a local derby can create. The clubs may have shared stadiums in the same city, but that didn't mean they had to get along on the pitch. All right, I'm here in Giesing, half mile away from Sabnerstrasse, where FC Bayern Munich's training facilities are situated, and I'm standing outside of Grunwalder Stadion because I'm here to talk to Fritz Grinninger, one of the longest serving members of FC Bayern Munich. Grunwalder Stadion was home to some of the most iconic moments of our early history, with our first double in 1969 and the historic 11-1 win over Dortmund. And it continues to play an important role at FC Bayern as the home of our amateur team. Sehr, sehr schön. So you are member number two of FC Bayern. You've been a member for over 75 years. You've seen the highs and the lows. What is FC Bayern to you? Der FC Bayern ist mein ganzes Leben und zwar in jeder Hinsicht, denn ich müsste da ja aus der Zeit der Schüler sprechen. Ich wollte schon mit sechs Jahren zu Bayern gehen, aber ich durfte nicht, weil ich so klein war. Aber dann, wie ich zehn war, dann hat es geheißen, ich dürfte zu 60 gehen. Und dann habe ich gesagt, nein, ich will zu den Blauen nicht gehen, ich möchte die Roten. Ich bin ein Bayern-Fan. Und dann bin ich zu Bayern gegangen und so bin ich es heute noch. Und wir hatten immer, muss ich immer sagen, gute Leute als Betreuer. Die waren wie Väter zu ihren Buben. Mein Vater war Alleinverdiener, wir waren drei Kinder, das hat hinten und vorne das Geld nicht gereicht. Und dann konnten wir uns das nicht mehr leisten, mit der Straßenbahn zum Säbener Platz zu fahren. Und dann hat der Betreuer gesagt, warum kommt der Fritz, ich, nicht mehr ins Training in die Säbener Straße. Und dann war mein Vater ganz verlegen und hat gesagt, ja, Kleingeld ist zu wenig. Dann hat der Betreuer gesagt, dass in Zukunft kann, kann er jeden Donnerstag kommen zum Proben und das Geld gebe ich ihm, wenn er kommt. Dann habe ich jeden Donnerstag 50 Pfennig von ihm bekommen. 
Und damit konnte ich nicht nur hin und her fahren, sondern mir sogar eine Limo kaufen. <lacht> und das hat er zwei Jahre lang gemacht. Also ich muss immer wieder sagen, ich habe da eine Jugend erlebt, das hat es bei keinem Verein gegeben. If you could summarize everything that FC Bayern is to you in just one sentence, what would that be? Der FC Bayern ist für mich ein ganzes sportliches Leben. Das ist eigentlich ein Familienbetrieb mit einem großen Haus und vielen Anhängern. Und die können reinkommen und können gehen und können mit jedem sprechen, wenn sie sich anmelden. FC Bayern has become a dominant powerhouse in world football with a family of over 295,000 registered members, more than any other club in the world. But this wasn't always the case. The club had to work to earn the status it holds today. So we talked about the fact that there wasn't a professional system set up. How yeah. did we get to a place where there was? The German national team wasn't good enough okay. anymore. And that's why the German Football Association said, sure. okay, now we need a professional league. And they founded the Bundesliga in 1963. But FC but. Bayern wasn't reject, wasn't part of it. The German Football Association didn't want, has been two clubs from one city inside the league. Right. And 1860 Munich, the few years before that time and the year before the foundation has been a little bit more successful okay. during that Which time. Which I'm sure is also surprising <laughs> to people so, now yeah. in hindsight. Yeah. yeah, and that's why FC Bayern got rejected. So how did we get from the point of rejection to eventually being included in the Bundesliga not long after? We were creating a new team. As sure. I mentioned before, we engaged one of the best coaches in Germany. Yeah. We cr created a, a professional structure with the first professional manager in German football, yeah. Robert Schwan. And they were looking for the best talents in the region of Munich. And they got talents like Franz Beckenbauer, Gerd Müller, Sepp yeah. Meyer. And with those young players around those three, they were creating a new team. Yeah. And then they got their promotion to the Bundesliga in 1965. Wow. You see here the original jersey yeah. shirt from Franz Beckenbauer from the final deciding game. Wow. To, for the promotion of the Bundesliga. Then we got promoted to the Bundesliga in 1965 yeah. and we won the German Cup 1966. So we got promoted, that became way. second in yeah. the league, got promoted, won the European Cup of Cup winners one year yeah. after yeah. and the double in 1969 and the success story started all over. Yeah.